Hiya, just before we start today's vlog, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Doreen Thompson, who was so kindly sent us a beautiful email. Um, it's so appreciated. And thanks for the heads up to post our um, trip to Forest on the Forest Now and Then website or Facebook site, which we had this lovely, amazing um, feedback from and also caught up with some people that used to actually work at the bistro with me as well. So a big, huge thank you for that. And thanks to everybody in Forest for making us feel so nice over the last week. It's been really, really appreciated. Thank you. Hi everybody, so welcome to the vlog and today we're going to make a chilli con carne, gal style. So obviously this is my first time using this thing so this is going to be fun, you'll hear a lot of beeping. Um, the first thing we're going to do is to brown off your mince. Now I've got 750 uh, grams of mince here because I'm actually making a little bit extra. Chilli is one of those things you can just shove in the freezer. And to be honest with you, we're not eating this tonight. We're going to be eating it tomorrow night because I like my chilli a little day older so everything's had time to kind of just get in there. So. So as you can see, the beef is now browned, okay? That's what you're looking for, no pink bits. Now, a lot of people would drain away the, the juice. And I don't, I think the juice has got lots of flavor in it. So I'm going to put this aside into this bowl here. Pop that back on the heat. Okay, so a bit of oil. So you're basically trying to cook the onions until they're kind of translucent. Some people might want to add peppers in here now, really finely chopped like the onions. I don't like peppers really that much. So I try to avoid cooking with them as much as I can, but sometimes it's impossible not to. So and I'm gonna also add the garlic now as well. Now this is a smoked garlic, because I kind of like my chili with a real smokiness. So now I'm going to add a little secret ingredient. So I believe in Mexico, they add chocolate to their um, chili. So we're going to add two teaspoons of dark chocolate, okay? Now, some people like to add like the dark chocolate at the end, like a bar of chocolate, like a couple of the squares. And you can really smell that now. It's a nice chocolatey smell coming off it and now we're going to put the mince back in and give it a good old mix up. I'm going to add the chilli flakes, you can add chilli powder, chilli flakes, fresh chilies. I like these chilli flakes, they're actually fiery and to be honest with you the amount I've just put in there is for if you like it quite hot. And I'm really old school. I'm gonna add two oxo cubes. Yeah. Because I don't like my chili wet. Now, if you're having chili in Mexico, it'll be a very, very different case. It's like they use big, nice bits of beef and everything, not the mince we use here. This is a very British way. I'm gonna add in fajita mix. This is just to give it a nice smoky flavor, which, as I keep saying, I like smoky flavor in food. That goes in. Small tin of tomato paste. A 
And this is where it becomes nice and glossy with the tomato paste. It helps thicken it up so that you don't have to add any flour or anything, which is especially good for anybody who has wheat intolerance. Tin of tomatoes chopped. And a tin of red kidney beans. And just because this looks a little bit dry, I'm going to add a little bit of water just to help us get that nice sauciness because I want this now to cook for a good ooh, hour and a half or so. Tamp down, a nice little simmer, lid on, and there you go. How easy is that for a nice big bowl of chilli? which can easily feed four or five people easily. So join us, well, I'll see you tomorrow when I'll show you how to, we've got to put it all together. Ta for now. Hi guys, so with the chili tonight, I want to have kind of a guacamole. I prefer my guacamole to be kind of chunky. So I'm just gonna throw one together now. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I've got basically tomatoes. Let me just pull this down because I'm doing this better now. So I've got tomatoes, I've got avocado, onion and garlic. I would usually have coriander but I just checked the coriander we had in the fridge and it's not great. So firstly we're going to peel the avocado. Now you might be wondering what this machine is next to me here. It's from um, JML, I think it is. And it's kind of a chopping machine, so you just basically put your stuff in and chop. So easy. I highly recommend one of these in your lives. Tomato. Yeah, no, put your fingers in it. I mean, seriously, it makes life so much easier. And then because, because I want the onion finer, turn it over. And the onion over. So as you can see, it's all been chopped up in here. I'm going to add the garlic. Crush. Now I'm not putting chilli in this one because we've got chilli in the food anyway. And I'm going to put a wee drop of oil. So I'm going to transfer this into here. And so, a splash of olive oil. you give it a good old mix because there's nothing worse than having a mouthful of just pure garlic. Okay. And I'm going to put that side in the fridge and that'll do for tonight. As you can see Ray's trying to pop his head in there. But so that's your guacamole for tonight. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm doing my rice for tonight because it's a wee turmeric rice. Hi, so now I'm going to show you what kind of rice I'm doing tonight. So it's a nice, easy, simple rice. It's um, a turmeric rice and I'm just going to show you how to do it now. Yes, it's raised there. 
Right, here we go. Right, so as you know, we kind of like our rice nice and dry and stuff, only cooked in a little bit amount of water. But this one, I'm going to boil the rice like we do in the UK. And um, then I'm going to drain it and rinse it with cold water. Okay. So as you can see, I've got rice in the pot. I'm going to sprinkle in some turmeric. Give it a good old wallop of like that. And I've already got some boiled water, which I'm just gonna pour on top. Now you know this is way more than we would usually do. And that's because I want it to boil in there so that each grain of rice is kind of individual. Ah, yeah, so now we've heated up the um, chili from last night. As you know, I cooked it for about an hour and a half and let it rest overnight. And now I'm just heating what we need for our dinner. And it's made two kind of takeaway dishes for the freezer. So I like to have rice in the middle. It's about the only time I like a lot of rice for some reason. Mm. I like to have some kind of nachos that you buy in to stick around the edge because I like that crunchiness you get. So there's no style in this house, you just go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. some salsa, well, the guacamole salsa on top. Sprinkling of cheese. And my favourite sour cream. And I can guarantee you there'll be more of that going on. And a good squish. And there you have it, guys. A nice little easy made chili con carne with all the goodies on top. And let's have a wee taste. Mm. Mm. It's nice and smoky because of that smokiness I added from the um, fajita mix and the smoked garlic. Mm. Delicious. And I love the crunch. Don't forget guys, all our recipes, if you're looking for them, are on www.thericeandtattiesboys.co.uk and this will be on the top at the moment. And don't forget, if you're new around here, subscribe and press that bell button so you get to know when we next release our videos. We hopefully send another one for you out on Sunday and that'll be Ray doing three ways of cooking rice. So you will be asking for it, so you're getting it. And um, don't forget to live your fullest life. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Mm. Are you loving it? Mm. It's good, actually. <laughs>